set again on another orchid adventure with who else but me, Maria Young. And you guys remember, like about two weeks ago, I did go to the Mount Dora plant show. You guys do remember that, right? I mean, you guys did actually watch the video, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course you did. Hey, if you guys did not watch that video, like you totally missed out. I had so much good, exciting adventures at that show. So if you didn't watch it, oh my gosh, oh my, but you know what? It's not too late to get on that orchid bus. As a matter of fact, all you have to do is click on the link like right there. If you click on that link, it'll take you directly to that video and you can indeed experience the experience. Well, about like two weeks ago when I went to that plant show, I did tell you like about two weeks ago that I was going to do a video and I did not. Why? Oh, why? Well, folks, I got a little bit busy and unfortunately I didn't get to it, but you know what? I got all the time in the world right now. So don't fret, guys. Don't fret. I did not forget about you. Would I ever forget about like, no way, I would never, ever, 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 ever forget about you. No, I wouldn't. So we're going to get that Orchid Hall party started right now. And the very first two orchids on our list are coming from Jerry from Pelican Coast Farms. And indeed, this one in particular is called the Epi Solari. What an interesting orchid right here. Look at the shape of those petals. And of course, look how frilly and lacy it is as well. And this actually reminds me of somewhat of a Brassavola right here. Definitely an interesting bloom. And this next one, again, is coming from Pelican Coast Farm. This is a Dendrobium nobly. Lucky girl right here. And indeed, I am a lucky girl with all of these beautiful, beautiful, fragrant blooms. And the next orchids on our list are coming from Linda Ritter's. Of course, we all know Tom Ritter's orchids. And this in particular right here is an infamous Pathio Pedalum looking so elegant and tropical as always. And of course, if we take a look at those mottled leaves, indeed, tropically delicious. So let's test our skills out and see just how badly we can chop up this name right here. So this is a Paphiopetalum maculi curtisii Madie crossed with a Paphiopetalum Madie Napa Valley. Now try saying that 10 times really fast. Woo! Now with such a complex name such as that, I'm so glad that it's so easy to see just how beautiful this Paphiopetalum is with all sorts of stripings and textures. You see those little hairs? How adorable is that? And of course on that pouch you're seeing the stripings or the veinings as well in there. Definitely such a beautiful and elegant flower right here. And these two beautiful orchids are also coming from Tom Ritter's orchids. And these are both hybrid zygopetalums. Indeed, very interesting and colorful blooms. They are always such bold orchids. And indeed, always fragrant and never ceasing to amaze me. Such beautiful, beautiful orchids and always a pleasure to have. And these beautiful alba-colored blooms right here, very uniquely shaped with their twisty petals and sepals. Definitely an antelope variety of a dendrobium. As you can see with the twisty shape that emulates an antelope horn. So definitely a very beautiful bloom and interesting to look at. And this one right here is another dendrobium. Unfortunately, it is a UFO, an unidentified, very fabulous orchid. But indeed, we don't know her name, but she is still dainty and very beautiful. Indeed, I am loving the color and also the veining on this one. And this darkly colored, very rich maroon blooming orchid right here is a Multasia royal robe. And although she is fading, I will have to say she is still quite a beauty. And will you take a look at this little guy right here? This nicely braided, very clean cut orchid is a Lacartia. 
And last on our list is this one right here. Last but not least though, guys, because this is actually one of my favorites. And to be honest with you, you know what? I got into a little tussle with Stuart to get this one. Okay, I sure did. And guess who won? You guys already know, right? It's like flower power to the third degree right here, okay? So anyways, this particular orchid right here is a Maxillaria bustianii. And I I do hope I pronounced that right. But indeed, this is quite a spectacular orchid right here. Very nice in the way that it blooms. As you see here, folks, you're seeing a lot of dead debris here. Actual reality, this is actually older blooms from last week. That's right. These are somewhat of a sequential bloomers. At least this is the first set of blooms right here and in a week a new set grows right in and indeed this has somewhat of a maxillaria shape as we all know as you can see the petals and the sepals on this is a very pristine white and then you're looking into the center that throat area right there is a very rich beautiful orange and one of the best things about this bloom not only is it uniquely shaped but indeed this is such a fragrant flower right here. One of the strongest smelling blossoms I have ever smelt. Smelling of a very sweet jasmine and capable of filling up an entire room. Indeed, quite a beautiful and interesting orchid, this Maxillaria bustianii. Okay guys, so I do have to ask you, do you guys notice something very strange, maybe even unusual? Uh, something perhaps missing from this haul? I don't know, it just seems pretty strange. Let's see if you guys can figure it out. Yep, you guys guessed it. You hadn't seen yet a Vandacious Orchid. And I know you guys are starting to get worried, right? Because you know that Vandacious Orchids are one of my favorite genera. So of course I could not leave it out and no way, never would I, okay? So this Vandacious Orchid is actually coming from Smiley's Nursery. And of course you guys know that she specializes in all sorts of Vandas. And I am going to be doing a tour of her nursery nursery, so you indeed don't want to miss that. You have to stay tuned for more on that one. This in particular is called a Halutiana, and if you guys know, the Halutiana varieties are very, very interesting in their blooms. Not only are they fragrant, but they are just so uniquely looking. So indeed, I wanted one of these for a very long time, and I'm doing like somersaults here, because I finally got one, and even though this isn't that big, well, it's a good size. This is already a blooming size, so next time in the spring, I am hoping, finger crossing, that it will come into bloom. And yes, yes, and yes, I did get more Vandas. Now, I actually did not purchase this at the Mount Dora plant show, but I purchased this earlier, and of course, you guys know that Stuart also sells on eBay under mainly Vandas, and I had purchased these two from him, and I just did a pickup. I met him there at the show, and of course, I am including this, because I picked it up at the show, in my haul. And this Vanda right here is a Paxhorn fragrance. Now, if my memory serves me correctly, I do believe that this is a Mimi Palmer cross. And indeed, it has a very dark blooming blossom with, I think it's a tessellated pattern on here. And it also is very, very fragrant. So I am very excited and anticipating the first blooms from this Vanda. And this beautiful Vanda right here is a Vanda Denisoniana crossed with a Vanda Insignis. And if you guys know anything about those two Vandas, you guys would know that they are just spectacular Vandas. And to know that this has been crossed with those two, I am very, very excited to see the blooms because indeed not only are they unique in their formation of the blossoms, but they are so, so strongly fragrant as well. Now there is some bad news to this Vanda of which I was very, very disappointed. I was very disappointed and I will tell you why. Because last week I received this orchid right here and then I found out that this is also a Denisoniana crossed with an Insignis. So do you guys know what that means? 
Of course you know what that means. That means I have two. That means I have duplicate. That means I have double. Okay? I have two of these. I have two of these spectacular Vandas. Now you guys may say that's a good news, but no, I don't. I really don't want to. So I'm not quite sure exactly what I'm going to do with the two Vandas because I may be in the market to trade it in or to sell it. It just depends. Because you guys know, even though they are two of the same crosses or two of the same kinds of Vandas, that doesn't actually mean that the blooms will be the same. So I am actually going to wait to see what the other blooms look like. And indeed, if there's a huge difference, I may keep both of them. But if there's not a substantial difference, you guys, if anyone's interested, again, I may be selling it. And I have to tell you, the blooms on this Vanda is spectacular and also one of the strongest smelling blooms I have ever smelt. They are right on my top 10 top smelling orchids. So indeed, this is quite a catch. I'm just saying. And guess what I just found out, folks? Take a close look. That's right, you see it. You see that spike on this Denisonian across with an insignis. You sure do. Now we're going to be able to find out here in a little bit if this one right here will bloom just like this one. We'll see. And oh my beejeebers, I ought to be such ashamed of myself right now. I know I told you guys that I was completely done with my Tom Ritter's collection. Well, you guys, guess what? I told such a big orchid tail right there because I just found three stragglers just hiding away and I'm going to go ahead and cover them right now. And this one right here, folks, this is an Angracum eburneum. And indeed, this orchid right here can get to be quite a humonga dunga size. And you see right there, folks, you see that big long spike. Indeed, it blooms just an abundance of flowers, small little waxy flowers, but indeed, they are fragrant and very beautiful. And this right here, folks, is a very interesting orchid. This is a Dendrobium lamellatum. And indeed, this can get quite big. And as you can see, the pseudobulbs are very flattened. And the way this blooms, it'll bloom in huge clusters of little white creamy colored flowers. And indeed, gives such a spectacular tropical display. And this is a Dendrobium nobly. This one in particular is known as the Fancy Lady. And indeed, we keep it fancy round her, round her. And also, folks, I was able to get some hang a pot hangers right here. You guys remember my Mount Dora actual show video, right? Well, if you guys didn't see that, shame on you. Okay, that was a very good show. I met a lot of good people there, and it's very nice with lots and lots of orchids. So if you guys did not check out that video, please be sure to do so, and you can do it right here, right up there, right up there. All you gotta do is like click on that link. I mean, how much simple does it get? It doesn't get any more simple than that. Okay, so go ahead and click it if you didn't see it. Anyway, so these are the hang of pots. Uh, we did a demonstration, and Roth K explained to us how magnificent these are. Indeed, if you guys check out www.hangofpots.com, you will indeed see all of the spectacular projects that people have sent into him with all the creative ideas using these hang of pots. And indeed, I got my very own, and I will be starting on my project as well because there's a lot that I want to do with my orchid tree that's outdoors in my orchid paradise of a garden. So next year or next season, I'm going to have some great ideas. I'm in the lab right now coming up with a plan. And indeed, we will be making good use to these hang of pots. Okay, guys, so that is it. That is it. That's all. I mean, I didn't have that much, right? Right, right, right? Well, indeed, I had such a blast at the Mount Dora show. So if you guys have never checked that out, you guys ought to. And I think they have it like once a year. I know a lot of you guys said you guys missed out on it this year. So make sure you don't miss out on it next year. Indeed, it's a great outdoor activity with lots of plants and orchids and all sorts of decorations and all kinds of treasures that you can indeed discover. So indeed, a great time to be had right there. Okay, folks, that is it. And I thank you guys so much for hanging out with me once again in my indoor orchid paradise with who else but me? <laughs>
Maria Young. And if you guys like this video, come on, you know the drill, right? Like two green thumbs up already. And if you want to stay tuned to the latest and greatest news, my all sorts of, all sorts of a kind and different strange activities and experiments and all sorts of things, if you want to stay tuned to those videos, indeed be sure to subscribe. And you guys know I'm on Facebook as well, just having a hoopla of a time and adventures there also. So join me on Facebook at My Orchid Adventures right on Facebook. And I think you guys already know, right? You guys already know, do ya, do ya, do ya? That indeed I love you guys all. And mwah, 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 mwah.